Hey there, people. Long time no see. All right, so we have another pick a card today. I'm not even sure what I'm going to title it, but I knew where I was wanting to go with the three groups and everything. So for group one, obviously, we have a red candle and this moon tarot card. For group two, we have the purple candle and the spider community and web weaving. Did I say spider or spiral? Because now I'm like looking at the spiral here. And for group three, we have the yellow and this says fragment. This looks like a spooky ghost in the woods. Doesn't it? Also, there's a number on there, number 15 or number six, if you're all in with numerology and stuff. So <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna pull cards for each group. Um, you know, honestly, I'd like to mention the the new moon coming up. I'm not even sure when it is. I think it's March 2nd. So be mindful about those moon phases and your moon sign as well. Um, as per usual, if you're drawn to more than one group, that's fine. If you find yourself, I couldn't decide between two or all three, watch them all. Watch them all. <coughs> so... Two more cards for each pile, I think, on this deck. Got a lot of new decks to work with. I'm super excited. I've just been like, I don't even think I've been called to really do reads here lately, but I've been trying to, I've been trying to uh, discern whether it's my procrastination or if I'm really not drawn to do it, you know? So on the bottom of the deck, oh yeah. The bridge. We have the bridge. This is what's happening. We're bridging a gap. We're crossing a bridge. Uh, lots of new stuff here. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and pick one of these cards. This is this deck. It's called the Halloween deck. And my honey was actually really drawn to it the other day. And he picked it up. And you guys would not believe he was actually reading cards. He was actually reading the cards. And I was like super impressed because he was spouting information off that I was getting in my head about him, right? Uh, been kind of a whirlwind here in my household this past week. A lot of revelations being made. <clears throat> a lot of stuff coming to light. <clears throat> good and not so good, you know. Well, people, you know, it is what we make it to be, right? <clears throat> but, um, yeah, that might be happening for you guys. A lot of truth being revealed, light being shed upon stuff, realizations and whatnot. Oh yeah, I mentioned the moon phases and the moon is right there. So I feel like the next full moon will be of significant for you. Anybody who, whether you're going to choose group one, two, or three, I feel like that group will be very... I mean that moon, that full moon. I can't even freaking talk right now. Occupation on the bottom of the deck on this one. So we had bridge and occupation. So changing your occupation, changing your <coughs> thinking around workforce. And I'm just pulling cards on camera. So, you know, can't say that I, uh, went through, not that I'm worried about it, I don't have anything to prove to any skeptics out there, but uh, just so you know that you literally can't make this shit up, man, I'm gonna get some angel messages here for you too. The plants at Walmart are out now. The springtime plants. I got so freaking excited the other day. I wanted to just sit in the middle of them and meditate. <laughs> oh, shoot. I cracked myself up. Take time out. Give yourself time to have fun. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what my inner child has been doing. I've been trying to balance the inner child, the higher self, and the ego. So maybe that's what you guys are doing right now. One, two, I'm just go 
going with the flow here. And I had to learn to trust myself again. So maybe that's what you guys are doing. Learning to trust yourselves. Um, releasing any self-doubt that you might have. Oh, some crown chakra and sacral chakra going on here. And of course with the colored candles, those colors remind me of the root chakra, the crown, and the solar plexus. <coughs> We're going to go hardcore with this one today, y'all. Hard freaking core. And I am just reaching over here out of my stuff and pulling, pulling them, you know. Whew. I think that's it. We'll be back with group one. Of course, we can always add more cards, huh? <laughs> well, hello, group one. For those of you that chose the red candle or if you were going by the, <coughs> the card that was put out. <coughs> the moon card and we were talking about you know things coming to light and essentially that's usually what the moon card means there's either something being hidden or something coming to light i'm going to put your sweet little candle over here Just put that right there so we have lots of room the angel message you are in control of your own destiny so indeed knowing that our thoughts create our own reality things are what we make of it and how we perceive it and that's where you, um, the need to see from a different perspective, that message had come through so much before. Because there is a dire need at this time for people to see other points of views and see it through different and fresh eyes. Oh, let's see what these cards got. You know what? I think I need one more of these cards. What did I do with them? They're right there, sir. I think they were supposed to have three. So we've got Martyr, <coughs> Unity, and Night. So group one, I feel like you guys are really, <coughs> excuse me, you guys are really like, you put yourself in certain positions to see things in certain ways. Like I know as a mom and a stay at home mom, that I felt like I, I would have to do everything just because I'm the stay-at-home mom. I have the time to do it, right? But that's not the case here. I was going above and beyond and putting everyone else's needs ahead of myself and going into burnout. And, you know, the, the girls, they do their own laundry. I don't touch that. You know, the only laundry of theirs that I wash will be the towels because I like to do all the towels, you know, all together, of course. But... You know, put like putting your foot down and saying, look, I've, I'm going to have to have help. I do this all the time. You can get off your ass, get your nose out of your phone and get over here and help me. Right. Maybe even give incentives, small incentives. Because if you're working with younger children, too, most little kids usually are happy to help. Right. But if we're dealing with adolescents, teenagers, Incentives work, and that's okay. Don't feel like you're bribing your kids. You're just giving them, teaching them responsibility and having them learn to, that you know, not everything can be handed to them in life, right? And then we've got the knight over here. So you're moving out of this and you're, you're like your own knight. You are your own knight in shining armor. We've got number 15 here, number six, number 27 or number nine and number seven. So six, seven, nine, seven, nine, six. Oh, that is a number I see on license plates a lot, actually, 697. <clears throat> and we have unity. So the two, you are uniting. You will be uniting your inner child with your higher self and your ego. You are merging. And I think, oh, snap, that's what I've been working on these past this past week. <clears throat> it's been, it has been super heavy in the emotional department for people around me, but it has been super worth it. So super worth it. Let's see, look, moving on, protection. Yeah, you have a lot of protection around you. The jack-o'-lantern. 
So I, there may be a jack-o'-lantern or uh, a story pertaining to making jack-o'-lanterns that may be as significant to you. That's coming out right now, my loves. <gasps> look at this. What in the hell is crock and crock? I don't even know what that was. But look, you got two moon cards. The moon, very significant. Pay attention to those phases. Work with those phases. Work with that moon energy, you guys. Herbs, candle magic is coming to mind. Rituals. No, not Satanism. Um, the black cat, of course. Um, somebody here who has a black cat or who has a cat who they've had for a little while. You just notice that cat seems a little different. Or, okay, it's not your imagination. And he ha he's come to offer their unconditional love and a little bit of guidance. And also cats can... Um, they can cloak our energy, especially when we're going through a deep healing process energetically on and emotionally on soul levels. They can cloak our energy and then that way, you know, there's no lower vibrational seeping out the weakness. And so if your cat has been really drawn to be near you at night or when you maybe you take time to relax or meditate or whatever it is, you notice the cat is just like all up in your business, right? There's a reason for that. So open open your heart to it. Privileged lady, yes. This is, you're, you're passing a test or you're in the process of passing a test. Follow that guidance though. Follow that higher knowing and that inner knowing. Also, if there's something here that you're picking up on that I'm not touching on, don't disregard that, okay? That's for you and you only. The rider. There's someone coming towards you, I feel. Now we're getting... <laughs> now they're like, pull these cards over here. Someone or something coming towards you. This could be a male suitor for those who are single. This all the single ladies. Or, you know, a male suitor for a male. Or a female suitor. It doesn't have to be, okay? Whatever your... Uh, sexual orientation is my loves oh this is pertaining to a wedding look at that Ooh, this is the one group one group one group one this person has the key something you've been waiting on for a while got lover on the bottom of the deck okay so we're gonna pull a romance card real quickie. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And I'm feeling like this is past life energy. And this is why we're, um, I, even I go through this cycle, but I feel like it's coming from the other end. Like he's not attracted or he doesn't feel there's enough chemistry keeping this relationship going. Okay, or this, this could be you as well too. But I'm, the cycles are coming back, and we've got a lot of circles here, right? But I feel like this is a cycle, and it's something from a past life. Like, maybe in a past life, we were just so in love with our honeys, and we were, you know, then we had heartbreak. And it turned out they didn't really see us that the way we thought they saw us, or they didn't see us the same way we saw them. Does that make sense to anybody here? Here's another card here that wants to come out. Hold on. <sighs> okay. So there is a need to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with each other. Honestly discussing your feelings with one another. That could be the tests. There's, there could be opportunities that are coming up for you to speak your truth. And this might not even be pertaining to a, a specific romantic relationship. This could be to do with, you know, friends around you or family or coworkers. also. Let's go on to the next cards. Obstacles and challenges. You are overcoming those obstacles and challenges. You're not the martyr. Stop projecting yourself to be. You don't have to be and do everything. We've got two number five cards here. We also have the number synchronicity five, six, seven. So that tells me that you have been taking the steps that you have been guided to take. You've been following that intuition on the matter. Yeah, there's an intuitive awakening. And look at her crescent moon in her third eye and look at the cat. Hems got a little 
crescent moon as well. So that is like eye-opening energy. Look at all that purple there too. Crown chakra like a mother here, you guys. Purple here. His crown chakra is illuminated. This is what you're coming out of. This is what you're leaving. Unity also, you know, there's unity in a relationship, a partnership, a marriage, reignited unity. And look, <laughs> we have the knight and then we've got the rider. So it's like your knight in shining armor is coming in. You're going to be able to bridge that gap though. More purple. Look at this. Amethyst. Somebody definitely sh should work with Amethyst. Divine Alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Move beyond current challenges. Move beyond current challenges. Cut that cord. Cut that cord. Step forward and, you know, it's okay. Take that leap. Take that jump. Definitely use Amethyst, though. It'll help you. <clears throat> There's a big awakening for you here, group one. And if you haven't gone through it yet, you will be, my loves. And it'll be all okay, okay? Just make sure you stay grounded. You're rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. See her? She's outdoors. They're outdoors. She's outdoors. They're outdoors. I'm getting a little hangry. That movie Halloween comes to mind also. Group one, I hope it helps. I hope it resonated. Oh, until next time, my dears, love and light. Hello, group two. For those of you that chose purple power here, the purple candle or the spider card. I think that he's come out in a pick a card before as an option to choose. But I'm being, no, you know, this spiral right here everything's a cycle everything goes 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 community and web weaving and this says peace is just a thought away so I'm feeling like you are your own worst enemy group too that's a little harsh to say I know but you may be weaving a web of your own demise in your own thinking okay Maybe there's something coming up in the conscious mind and you're, and you're like, how did I even get that? How did I even get there? How did I get such and such from such and such? Um, going down a rabbit hole is coming to mind. But also knowing that we are all connected, right? Because this web is very connected. It looks like it could have different, you know, different routes and such connected with your community around you. There might be a need to sen a sense to feel like you need to connect. Fearless. Yes. Hero. Nice. And romance. 33, 13 or 4, and number 5. Actually, we have 4, 5, 6, number synchronicity. So just like Another group, you guys, are obviously taking the steps that you are being guided to take. And we've got Fearless in this big, huge fox. So you're not afraid to stand up and speak your truth and um, point out truth from others as well. Huge activation in the crown chakra. Soul star chakra also is coming to mind. You are the hero of your own story, group two. A fearless hero. And again, there's some sort of cycle and romance coming to mind here. In this romance department, that personal issue will reach a resolution. Okay, group two. Oh, look at this. Lady de los Muertos. I can't say it. De los Muertos? Muertos acceptance and equality look at this i mean this couldn't come out better right acceptance and equality in a partnership or romance situation okay i'm gonna pull a romance card it just popped in my head they're like nudging me playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine 
Yes, getting back to those childhood roots. Like I've said, you know, in several reads before, what did you do whenever you were a child? Did you go swing on swings? Did you go slide? Did you go roller skate? You play hopscotch, you jump rope, you hula hoop? There's so many different things that we did whenever we were a kid that would bide our time and keep us happy and joyful, right? Uh, look at that, you guys. I can't make this up. Did you guys see me pull cards? And I just pulled this out, like, playful and playfulness. So, and maybe you have a cat. Look, the cat's showing up. It showed up in group one, too. And uh, double digit 44 here. Maybe you have a cat. Play with the kitty cat. They're always very comical, right? Give him some nap, cat nap and watch him go. Let him go. Got too many cards in front of me here. <clears throat> Great fortune. Great fortune is on its way to you. A lot of abundance. Because it's written in the stars for you, group two. You were destined to be something or someone. To do something. Alright, I'm pulling on this whole situation. The Great Fortune and Stars. We've got number 26 or number 8. And number 16 or number 7. Oh my god. You guys. You guys. Look at this. You guys are going to be some, you either are or you're going to be some rich mofos. Let me tell you. Let me fucking tell you, y'all. All right. Money flows at me from all directions, expected and unexpected. Your children, maybe this is why leaving a legacy for your kids. A reunion. Hold on. Leaving a legacy for your kids because it's written in the stars written in the stars for you to leave this legacy your children your grandchildren your grandkids kids so on and so forth will be um, <laughs> very well taken care of there's no need to worry about their future in the state of the world that it's in okay because they're not going to grow up in that dimension is what I'm hearing they're not going to grow up in that reality okay remember we are things are how we make them to be in our mind right and if they're not at that moment, you continuously cycle through on things that you don't want. You're going to bring those things that you don't want towards you. But there's a lot of thought about a reunion. Maybe maybe there was an out. <clears throat> Let me just slow down here a little bit. Take a sip of my tea. A reuniting between you know some family members that are bickering or maybe you have you're on the outs with the, your kid or but look peace is just a thought away and look thought came out here too two thought cards peace there's going to be peace in this situation there is a peaceful resolution for you as well group two okay but the great fortune is written in the stars it's coming it's coming so just keep that in mind if we don't worry about when or how because it's always going to be when and how we least expect it okay it, it comes at the right time when it's supposed to come and there's no rushing it we cannot force the universe to move faster <laughs> trust me we cannot light a fire under them and make them and force them to give it to us sooner or to show us the steps sooner something about a friend though a reunion between friends too And sense of melancholy. So being satisfied in overall things right now for you guys. We've got wife too, so. Yeah, I think that's for a specific somebody. That's okay. You know, if you know, you know, right? Positive movement forward, right? Your ship's going to come in. That ship is going to come in. You have two freaking fortune cards here for fuck's sake. I mean, come on, you guys. You've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it. You have the power. You have all the magic within you that you need and all the resources within you that you need. You also have all of the healing within you that you need. And we've got past life healing. Hey, Kate. Oh, wow. 
the throat chakras. There is power in truth, my loves. There is power in truth. <coughs> okay? A lot of power in truth. A lot of power in speaking your truth. I don't know if what's behind her are birds or bats. I want to say bats because it's at night. Oh, snap. I'm getting some goosebumps here. Okay. Group one had something about a past life on the romance department. So these are definitely tying together a lot. There's just a few things that are different between group one and group two. So I wouldn't be surprised if you, you definitely could not choose. And if group one didn't resonate or maybe... Okay, anyways, that's not the point here. Group one had something about in their romance something about cycles going around you might want to watch group one okay holy crap awakening presence the universe is with you wear a cloak of protection and love <gasps> didn't i minish didn't i mention cloaking and protection from the cat earlier did i mention did i mention that in this one it was mentioned at some point in time let me just tell you that we're getting more on the reunion and friends situation Thank you. Look at this. Didn't I say your ship was coming in? Look. Oh my gosh, you guys. Spirit don't play around with these messages and these signs. Look, luck. Luck is headed your way. That's what's coming towards you, group two. You've got an immense amount of luck coming towards you. It's been hard. You've battled a lot of inner conflict. Look sending you roses and look it's coming out over the romance card so you might receive roses from somebody or maybe that's you needing to make a romantic gesture but look gentlemen somebody's going to receive flowers from somebody that is freaking awesome journal writing is coming to mind well the journal card popped over anything else Okay, so whenever this flipped over, though, fish, I immediately thought of nourishment and nutrition. Somebody being mindful on, on what they're eating. Pisces energy, of course. And maybe somebody is thinking about getting fish or you have fish. Somebody's clover, the green clover might be a nice little, they like that good luck symbol. If you're not, if you haven't been seeing this symbol, you're probably going to start. Also, we have St. Patrick's Day coming up is what they're pointing out too. So maybe you're wanting to do something fun for St. Patrick's Day. And that's okay to want to go out and, you know, have fun, cut loose. The dog. So somebody's dog and fish and cat are coming out. And you know what's funny is I know a few people who have dogs, fish, and cats as well. And including myself. So... <clears throat> We've got a big, um, I've already mentioned crown chakra and third eye activation here. I noticed this little field mouse here and we currently have a mouse in our snake terrarium because the poor little guy is lunch. <clears throat> so we've got the lady and the gentleman over romance and bouquet and playfulness. And one final message from this deck. Whatever is going on in this situation, whether you are single or in union, this is worth waiting for, okay? There's great abundance, great fortune in it. You're going to have great abundance in friendships. You're going to have great abundance in money, you know, paving the way for your children and your children's children. Make sure you let that inner child come out and play, though. Divine timing is that work in your love life. Be patient. Be patient. That personal issue is going to reach resolution group two. I'm so freaking excited for you guys. And look, on the bottom of the deck, we have another gentleman card. Wait, what? Hey, I didn't know there was two here. Oh, okay. Huh, interesting. But anyways. All right. I think that's what we got for group two. As always, much appreciated if you like and comment and subscribe, my loves. Until next time. The time's 11.11, by the way. Toodles.
Last but not least, group freaking three. Hello, my loves. Those who chose the yellow candle. Solar plexus energy coming in there, okay? Also, I'm being guided to say that you can also get these colored candles. Those of you who are wanting to work on your chakras, well, it's a, it's a very good suggestion and good idea for anybody listening to this. <coughs> there are so many different ways to work with your chakras, right? We can eat yellow fruits and vegetables. Um, pineapple Fanta does not count <laughs> because there's so, many, so much crap in it, right? So much processed stuff and sugar. But anyways, like, you know, organic yellows. Um, wearing the color yellow and then also, you know, meditating, of course, positive affirmations for it. And then we can actually, we can look at this color yellow and just focus and um, feel our solar plexus for a minute. And you can also light the candle with the intention that as it burns, it's going to help you clear your solar plexus that day or whatever chakra you use, you choose to use. Well, that's interesting because that message did not come out for groups one or two. They did. The energies for those two were very similar. So let's see what we've got for you, group three. Fragments. Okay, she looks like a wispy ghost. And, ooh, I get goosebumps just thinking about like being in the dark forest and then seeing something like that. Like normally, maybe I would have, yeah, I would have, I would have shit myself and flipped up my rocker. But now it's actually kind of exciting to think about something like that happening. So you guys could be like in that same boat of getting really excited about the magical things around you and the aspect and the idea of communicating with the other side. <clears throat> you are full of love. Now share it with another. So also with the, the fragment card, there may be a sense of needing, like as we go through traumas, our soul and, and you know, talk when we interact with toxic people and situations, they literally, I think they literally take pieces of our soul. They defragment us. So there would be a need to do um, uh, calling back your fragments meditation. And you can find some of those on YouTube. Actually, they're having me pause the video and go find one so I can put link it down below for you, group three, okay? I'll be right back. Okay. So that song that you hear on TikTok sometimes, I'm calling all my energy on coming along back to me it would definitely do you some good to sing that or you might find yourself singing it or it's stuck in your head or something of the sort and oh my gosh we have free spirit number two man this incense is really just billowing over here we've got change holy cow group three <coughs> and reflection mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. It's chilly in here. <clears throat> number 19 or number 1. Number 30 or 3. And then number 2. And technically, the 19 breaks down to a 10, which breaks down to a 1. So technically, you guys have the number synchronicity 1, 2, 3. Group 2 had 4, 5, 6. And group 1 had 7, 8, 9. Holy crockamoly. Yeah, there's fragments left over from previous relationships, from previous heartbreaks, my dears. Okay? That's the Three of Swords right there. Free Spirit. Can we have a card for Free Spirit, please? Butterflies on that card. She's holding those pretty, pretty butterflies. planning, mapping out things. There's a change in your creative streak. Things are changing. I feel like it's a, like a lightning fast paced kind of thing, but we've got planning, setting that roadmap out, doing what your spirit is calling you to do. You're following your higher self and you're putting in the hard work and you've done a lot of past hard work on reflection. And you might be some, this might be something you're fixing to step into actually. Yeah, finding balance in something, okay? And this could be, you know, finding balance between your creative endeavors 
and your work life, finding balance between work life and home life, finding balance between, you know, um, working on yourself and healing, but then also balancing home life. Did I already say home life? Oh my, yeah. Parasite, shadow work. Um, that's going to go under reflection right here. Okay, for the time being, we're going to stop that. And the judgment card, reckoning, okay? Um, a rebirth, a new beginning, something coming out. But there's been some sort of judgment <coughs> here with the reflection. Let's see what the next cards are. Mischief and play, trick or treat. So again, <laughs> this is a good, this is a message that's been coming out. I'm really drawn to this really big house behind them too. But um, letting that inner child come out and play, you guys. And, you're, and, you're higher, and your inner childs are going to pull you towards doing what you want to do and don't it's okay to feel silly whenever you do it okay but don't think too much about it and don't give a shit what other people think okay <laughs> don't care of judgment if they're there judging you there's something on them that they need to fix it's not you it's not something that's wrong with you we've got high honor under free spirit so you know you know you are a powerful mofo and you know you were very I guess it was like you're very sought after in the spiritual realms. You're very sought after for realities and worlds. But you had to come back to Earth for this time. Because, you know, I think you guys are in the know of the huge awakening and the energy and the ascension that's been put upon our Earth the past couple of years, right? I feel like Corona, for me personally, was a catalyst for all of it thinking there's got to be more to life than this right <clears throat> the lilies my angel lily coming out here today hi miss lily and we've got two number 30s we've got 30 30 so looking up what the spiritual meaning behind that is if you want to we also have 111 here <coughs> and another number synchronicity 789 so you might have been drawn to group one also and that's okay Peace lilies come to mind. Adventure though. When you see a lily, just know that you are going to, like having that sense of adventure like you did whenever you were a kid. Okay, so remember whenever I said something about the ghost in the woods and getting really excited? Like, something is really going to pique your interest again and bring you like excitement and wonder and awe going to bring you sweetness and synergy. <laughs> mm, goodbye to the old and hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. For group three, you could have just finished the shadow work. Could have been a big tower moment for you. And, you know, it was hard work. There's a sense of like taking two steps forward and ten steps back also. But just know it's always for your own highest good. Whatever has been said to you, whatever crosses your mind. It's all for you to learn something. You had to go through these situations. You had to have be fragmented in your spirit to help change the way you view things inside yourself. Group three. You are the one that has the key. You are the only one that has the key. <clears throat> the waiting game. Exactly. And the more you worry and or wonder, I, I don't feel like you're really worrying, but the more you wonder about when, is, when all this is going to end. I thought I was, you know, doing this. I, I'm doing everything they tell me to do. But that's the thing. You're essentially going by the book, group three. So what we have to do is fill it out, stop, take a moment with our spirit, our spirit team, our higher selves, breathe into it, ask them a question, and they will give you the answer. They will either give it to you at that moment through your thoughts and intuition, or they will give you signs. They will send you butterflies, or, you know, and you can even ask for a sign. Okay, if I'm on the right path, please send me a bluebird or a blue jay, whatever, right? 
ask for those signs. Be specific in the sign that you want to receive as well, okay? Faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. And this message coming through that I've, I've seen myself the past few days, be the change you wish to see. If there's something going on in your household, be that change you wish to see. Embody that mindset. When we expect us out of people, that doesn't help because we all do things and see things differently, right? Kuan Yin, kindness and nurturing. Yeah. Okay. Pulling some more cards over here. And there's something that you need to be reminded about. Don't forget, group three, a reminder. Something that you didn't want to forget. Remember who you are, is what I feel. And that can start with letting that inner child come out to play. We've got wife, becoming a wife, being a better version of yourself for that divine counterpart. faithfulness good old doggies coming in here too pay attention to your doggies consolation there will be consolation prize for the work that you've put in thus far okay it's coming all right situation regarding an older woman but also i feel like this is somebody who's been worried about you know passing away at a young age or passing away soon or being a little fearful of death or change or aging that you're, you're going to live to a ripe old age, okay, group three? <clears throat> Whoa. Be proud of yourself. Your team's really proud of yourself. They're proud of you. Proud of Your team is proud of yourself. Okay. And you know, essentially, what I've come to realize is that we've got... Ooh, group three. This hard work, look at this. This is going to pay off. Keep hoping, okay? Keep having faith. But anyways. I forgot where I was going with that. Ooh, excuse me. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. <clears throat> You've been waiting a long time for this that's coming also you you waited a long time for a revelation to happen but you've got you know the fortune coming towards you and we've got sorrow in reverse and we've got the hope card here as well so and then love <laughs> love 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 maybe you've been reflecting on past relationships <clears throat> they don't have to be romantic you know they could be past relationships from co-workers bosses teachers kids you grew up with you went to school with somebody from your past your childhood could be coming towards you as well group three As you call in those fragments, those soul fragments of yourself, there's going to be a change in perspective. And there's going to be a change in, like, a timeline shift, I feel, also. You're going to have a big achievement here, though. That's the Seven of Pentacles. Anything else here for Group 3? And yeah, so what if you're playing the waiting game? What we have to do is get our mind off of it. <clears throat> Stop trying so hard and just breathe. <laughs> Stop trying so hard and just breathe. <sighs> when we're not mindful of our breath, and I'm really bad about doing this, <sighs> excuse me, I either have to take really deep breaths and I sound like I'm, <sighs> you know, or I start yawning because I'm not breathing while I'm trying to, uh, read the cards but breathing has a lot to do with it if you just sit for your, with yourself for a moment take several breaks out of the day if you feel like you have to but 
Spirit's really nudging somebody here to make that a daily practice. Like they're like, you've heard this message before and now it's time to put in that hard work towards the change that you want to see in yourself. It's time to, like I mentioned the chakra thing. So I think that's coming into play here. Definitely, you are very well aware that clearing the chakras would be greatly beneficial to, and it's detrimental actually. They're saying it's detrimental to your emotional and mental well-being at this time, okay? So stop letting the ego talk you out of the stuff that your intuition is trying to tell you to do and to show you to do and lead you to do, okay? Um, that ego, I feel like, is being a little bit of a burden on you right now. And there are meditations to help you, you know, release that. And also, the ego is held in the solar plexus, coincidentally, right? Not really. There is no such thing as coincidences, but, you know. Look, I said, changing your perceptive, right? <laughs> perspective, my bad. That says perceptive. Oracle of clouds. Third eye. So, yeah, follow... Maybe somebody here was needing to know who to work with, and it says Quan Yin. So explore different avenues. Like, you know, if the meditation doesn't jive with you, frequencies. If the frequencies aren't seeming to be helping, they're giving you the strength that you need, though, hon. The strength that you need in seeking that inner truth on yourself, okay? And there's situations and things to be... Um, put around you as tests also is what I'm feeling like people are saying certain words to you they're not trying to hurt you it's just spirit working through them oh snap well I just had a realization but there is compa having compassion for yourself and those around you seeking the truth I talked about the reflection right you've got wealth but this wealth is going to come to you you know after we finally surrender we surrender those outcomes when we surrender it all they're our spirit team right it's hard to do. It's hard to do. But there's an emotional maturity that's going to stem out of it. A wealth of emotional maturity. So whenever spirit talks about fortune and wealth also, sometimes they mean emotional fulfillment. Healing. Complete healing, right? You're getting there. Also, scribing is coming to mind in a literal crystal ball as well. Capricorn coming in here for me. But just know that these these moments happen for your highest good okay no it's not the universe fucking you over okay and whenever you view it as that that's your ego beating your beating you up don't let your fucking ego do that anymore to you they're saying now is the time you're gonna have to fight back you're gonna have to fight hard and it's gonna be hard work to do this because our egos get its claws like fish hooks in us really good it, it really does and it's all about making the right choices, group three. Being efficient and making those choices. You're having a hard time making a choice. Clear that third eye chakra. There will be rejuvenation after this, though. We've got the star. After you let go, there's an, an ending to a cycle is going to come up. By the next full moon, you're going to see, like, this message is going to resonate with you so freaking much by that next full moon. And you'll probably be drawn to come back and watch it again. But you're going to have a lot of inspiration and there uh, a lot of inspiration put upon your creative abilities but also i'm sorry i'm being drawn to keep going okay but also there's going to be a lot of stuff you have to unlearn <clears throat> there's a lot of things that we have to unlearn and unprogram from our conscious our subconscious minds things that have been beaten into our, our mental existence and our emotional existence for years right <clears throat> and that's where the, there's the reckoning again Learning old things in a new way also is coming to mind, okay? You're going to have security. You are protected. Your family is protected. Your household is protected. You've got to trust that the universe has your back. They seriously have your back. It's not happening to you. It's happening for you. And like I've said, perspective, perception is everything. And it's on how we view it. Okay, well, this sucks over here, but I'm going to make a plan and we're going to keep going forward because I know this is just a moment. This is one of those things that has to happen for me. I know it has to happen for me for my highest good. They're not going to give me anything that doesn't serve my highest good for me at the time. Ah, yes, a rebirth and a new partnership coming in, having a sense of practicality along with being able to play and releasing that defensiveness. I think you've released that a long time ago. 
and you're going to be able to take that leap, color that rose in, okay? You're going to have a lot of ambition and goals and contemplation. I think it stops there. It stops there, you guys, okay? <laughs> Look at that. And we have the emotional maturity, all that again, right? Oh, yeah, I already showed you guys those. I love these little cards. They're so freaking cool. I don't remember what they're called, but if you're interested, they look like that. I think they're called Prism Tarot or Prism Oracle. All right, group three. It was real, man. It was real. You guys, as usual, it's much appreciated that you like and subscribe. Comment below if you feel free to do so. And even share it if somebody came to mind. Share the video. Don't be scared. The worst they can do is not watch it, right? Also, we've got two eyes here, as I'm noticing. So definitely third eye, opening to a different perspective with both eyes, plus the third eye. It's going to be great for you guys. You're doing it. You are not following the masses. You are breaking through those bullshit generational thinking patterns and cycles as well. You got this. You got this. You're brave motherfuckers. Love and light.